Hey, how about that? How about I, uh, how about I turn my mic on? How about that? I'm sure you guys weren't missing anything. I'm sure you guys were fine. I was illustrating everything, wasn't I? <laughs> All right, uh, this is a relatively small amount of roaches here, considering uh, how many bases are in play and stuff. I don't know about all this. Uh, Roach Warren just now starting here in the coop space, and he's actually going to put down two uh, spine crawlers to try to deal with it back on defense. Maybe. I don't know. It's a lot of roaches, I guess. Uh, I'm not buying it, though. I think this can be stopped. I think this can be stopped. And there's not quite enough scouting going on in here. I think that's why the roaches are going to turn around, is they're going to just go ahead and make a decision. Yep. All right, so nice scout by Tool there is going to actually give him the clue here that the coop is well ahead. Forced a bunch of Zerglings for the coop, though. And that's kind of good news. Meanwhile, Speedlings are going to counterattack here at the expansion. There's a couple of exposed queens here, but the Roaches make it back just in time. Still a lot of Zerglings, though. They're not going to be able to do the run-by, which is good news. However, uh, well... That's actually kind of good positioning here. This spine crawler behind the front, this one up on the front. As long as the queens are good, uh, that's kind of nice. It's at least the super safe ramp that way. Uh, of course, it's definitely not safe around this area. Um. Ah, that's a lot of zerglings, man. He needs to be attacking with the. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, meanwhile, there is a roach warren up in blue's base, but I think he's going to elect not to do it. And you've been seeing him uh, drone pretty hard. He's taking it to the lair now. He's got the speed happening. He's gonna put up a, uh, he's gonna put up an Evo chamber. Try to get some upgrades going. So he's really sort of planning for a longer game here. Those are a lot of Zerglings though, and I think he knows this because he's getting a nice surround here on that queen. Yeah, this other queen's gonna go down too. He's still not gonna be able to get through the roach front. I don't think. Yeah, that's just uh, just enough to deal with the roaches. But I mean, are you serious? Two queens down. And actually, look at that. That's just enough Zerglings in to do a little bit of damage to that queen. Yeah. Not too terrible. Not too terrible here. Let's check some numbers for a second after that. Uh, 45-37 in the drone count, though. And that's uh, definitely a distinct edge for the coop. But as you can see, it's sort of like a fine line in Zerg versus Zerg. Uh, you know, two drones in the lead is kind of a big deal. So... The coop pretty much sitting pretty, especially after that last drone round that he sent out. Let's see what he's up to now. 52 to 41. Yeah, huge drone up there by both players. And it looks like the coop's ready to stretch it out a little bit at this point. Uh, we see Race to the Mutas being won. Well, Tool's losing it. <laughs> and the coop, well, he's doing just fine. Well ahead on that. Uh, you can see the amount of uh, gas bank to does play here. It does come into play. If uh, Tool's able to save enough gas, uh, he could come out on top on the uh, mute account, which could uh, turn the tables. But you can see, look at the ridiculous, just ridiculous lane count out here, and there's just really no army in comparison. Uh, Tool's got some roaches here, but it's not nearly enough, and it's, ha it's half the supply at this point. Uh, seven muters on the way though for the coop and it's gonna get l ugly out here for tool until he gets some uh, anti-air up which he doesn't have any right now catches out a premium though and he goes straight for as many muters as he can get which is 10 so tool gonna spawn 10 mutas the coop is gonna spawn less mutas I mean I guess that's the good news for tool but I think these lings are gonna make the difference here. If they're properly microed at the same time as the mutilus, should be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Look at that, they're gonna head out though. Immediately tools, mutilus are gonna go out and start hunting. Very nice. Same thing out here for the coop. He's gonna try to get a little supply block on and the ones that, that's at risk right now is the coop because he has the higher supply. If he loses a couple more overlords, that'll be costly. But look at this. Not even 
Not even thinking about uh, poaching any of those overlords. And look at this. Tool not even really engaging here. Oh, let's bring up some health bars and see how the micro is going. Yeah, it's a pretty decent micro battle. It looks like Tool can turn the tide here on the coop. He's got the numbers. And he had the better micro there. Uh, what's that going to prompt? Well, that's going to prompt the... Yeah, thank you very much. Counterattack here of the Zerglings from the coop is going to do huge damage here and possibly clean out all of these drones. Unless the Roaches make it back in time, they're not going to be able to make it out in time. And they're going to be surrounded by these links. Big problem right here with the Ling numbers that are in. Let's see how the wall off goes up front, though. Nope, the Lings are going to get right in. Nice hold position right there by the Coop. Going to be able to kill a ton of those uh, drones, but it, it wasn't as many as it could have been. I don't think this is going that badly for the Coop right now, other than the lost mining time. Uh, but here's the thing. Follow up follow-up is going to hit the front and uh here they come roaches are at least going to be able to block the ramp but the problem is that all the drones are now at the expansion uh oh that is a lot of mutas that made it out though and uh looks like tool is going to be able to clean it up but not before some giant giant losses there we're gonna have to check the numbers here following this workers killed the coop is taking down 19 workers So let's check the uh, army and supplies here. 56 drones to 40 right now. And 44 to 44 in the army supplies. So at least winning the air battle is tool right now. Uh, and both players have their third up right now. Except it looks like Coop. Yep, Coop just now starting his queen at his third. Whereas uh, tool, or Coop, I'm sorry, Coop has got the queen already and Tool's just now started his. So that's a little strange. Uh, and uh, it's just going to allow the coop to get a couple more vomits off. Zergling on Zergling action here at the third base of Tool. Meanwhile, Hydras are next on the docket for Tool. Uh, only one drone and gas. A couple of little mistakes here from Tool as he's got his hands full with the uh, possibly superior micro of the coop. Scouting Overlord goes down to the Mutas. And let's see how many Mutas. Let's just check out the unit counting station, shall we? Muta counts here in the favor of the Coop now as the tech switch to the Hydra is what's coming up. 51 Lings also for the Coop. So, yes, you are correct, ladies and gents. The supply difference is a good indicator <laughs> of who's in the lead and who's really got control right now. Uh, but look at this, you know, investing in a heavy-duty amount of drones. Oh, well, he pulled him from over here, didn't he? Or he lost it from over here. Hmm. I don't know, Tool. I don't know, Tool. It's a tough road to hoe here to get it back. He might have to double expand or do something. Because uh, the coop's starting to bank some minerals right now. And this mini is going to be able to come out and do tons of damage out here. No anti-air just yet. Okay, Spore Crawler finally spawned. And I don't think that's even going to be enough to keep those mutas away. Correct. Look at that. He just sticks with it and takes him down. That's going to give the drones enough time to get away, but I like this play by the Coop. He's just going to go ahead and stick with this third base and uh, make sure the tool can't expand. Pretty nice play there. That is a lot of roaches and hydras, though, which will be uh, pretty good about against the Muta flock. And, well... You know, there's the problem, folks. You got four pages of Zerglings over here just chilling. So really, the Coop's got it on lockdown with the 177 supply right now to Tools 108. There's a big attack by the Zerglings here on the Roaches and Hydras, and this could be it if this entire army goes down. Hydra's going to melt under the pressure of these Zerglings. And the Mutas are going to come in just in time to engage the Roaches, but look at that. The Coop has the answer. I think we saw that one coming, folks. So the Coop, strong diamond level skills. Showing his superiority.